A very good evening to everyone present here. And I'm really excited to be a part of this. A happy new year to every one of you. 2020 be, has been uh, quite a year for all of us, but I guess 2021, 2022, they all will be the same, all depends on what you're thinking. A uh, very big thanks uh, to uh, the Narsi Monji Institute of Management for having me over. And I'm here to talk about breaking yardsticks. So if I'm allowed to speak about breaking yardsticks, I can just talk about OTT platforms, which is over the top uh, content streaming uh, on the internet, on public internet. It's basically been, it's, 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 it's just been a, it's had its breakthrough in 2020, I guess, because OTT platforms have started since 2015, where I guess uh, roughly two to three platforms existed, right? Uh, but now as it's 2021, I think I've literally lost count because A, being an actor, I've had the opportunity to work for most of uh, the OTT platforms which exist in India. And uh, the list is countless, as I said. So I've been lucky to be a part of the platform which basically is so easily accessible to people, I guess. So what I did, uh, since my topic is talking about how OTT platform has changed or revolutionized the whole film industry in a nutshell. I can just start by saying that it's it's just made life so easy for most of us. And I'm not speaking just as an actor, I'm talking, I can speak about for a producer, a director, uh, even uh, like my team who works with me, for me. Everyone has gotten uh, like a sigh of relief ever since OTT platforms have been accepted and it's intervened. Because I guess the, Talent of an individual remains the same, but how it's marketed, where it is pitched is very important. So in my case, when I started with the television CDs uh, for Star Plus, which is now actively on Hotstar, imagine that was like a very important show on uh, a big channel like Star Plus. It got me such a beautiful global uh, network, love, um, and so much of uh, appreciation. It's now on Hotstar. And even when, if people might have missed out, they have an opportunity to see it, even if they missed that, they can still stream it on a platform called uh, Hotstar right now. So the beauty of what I'm about to speak is how OTT platform has become like a game changer, uh, game changer in the media industry. Um, so I get a lot of uh, questions like, okay, tell me, has OTT platforms, uh, I mean, do you alter yourself as an actor if you're acting in a feature film because that's how I started my career or television or uh, like uh, on, on a platform like Amazon or MX player or something which I've already worked for. My answer is not really. My dedication and act towards this is just the same. The difference lies uh, in the matter that I have a better audience uh, to whom like you know my, my acting can reach uh, like you know I mean I mean I, I, I personally feel television has a big audience films definitely have such like big appreciation and all but OTT platforms I mean it's not just restricted to metro cities tier two cities tier three cities everybody has like a smartphone these days so like you know it's it's a huge appreciation when I'm going like I'm, I'm just walking in an airport or somewhere or I've just stepped out to just get some groceries out of the car or something and somebody looks up to me like mama ashram mein thi na, which means that people who were not uh, using the internet to stream uh, videos are now doing it and of course the lockdown last year has pushed it to a different level where people definitely um, have become much more accepting of it. Because I guess now if I look at the audience, it's not restricted to just the millennials or uh, the metros. It's gone beyond. Homemakers are making time for it. Uh, senior citizens are watching it. I saw so many uncles and aunties come up to me. They're like, Beta, aapko isme dekha, isme dekha, aapka kaam acha laga. On the contrary, they might have not watched a couple of my films, my feature films. So this is what I'm trying to say. I guess OTT platforms um, have, uh, it's, it's, it's just like a space, which is basically technology meets outreach. That is which, what I'm going to start with. I'm going to keep it very precise because I'm sure these are the things which all of you know. But if I give a fresh perspective on it, I can begin by saying that I have spoken to, I mean, I did like a mini survey, you know. I've spoken to my uh, couple of directors, few friends, um, 
uh, even assistant directors who are part of like my projects, I asked the assistant director, let me begin with her. I asked her, tell me something, big director, uh, but for an OTT platform and a new, comparatively a new director um, for a feature film. Which person would you like favor if, if there's a project which uh, like, you know, you ha it's, it's a tough decision for you to make as an assistant director whom you should assist. So if, if you had a preference as an assistant director, which one would you favor? She was confused for a bit, but then she gave an obvious answer. She'll say, I definitely want my work to be more prominent and seen. So definitely I'll go with OTT platform because and it will not just be about who's directing it or what the star cast is. It's about the content because it's a content driven platform. I mean, like I mentioned, the diverse range of audience. Uh, there's something for kids. There's something for uh, people in college. There's something for um, my grandparents. There's something for everyone, I guess. I've worked in the Eastern uh, film industry. I have uh, done a fabulous series out there, uh, like, uh, you know, which has done immensely for regional uh, OTT platform. I have done for Amazon, for MX, and um, Hotstar I've already mentioned, but this is not about me. This is through my experiences, I can just share uh, my perspective about OTT platforms. And let me go to a director. So directors often have um, a hindrance in expressing their creativity. So I guess OTT platforms have made it so simple for them that they do not have too much of stress about, uh, okay, I have to be politically superbly correct about this or this party and that party might, you know, uh, stop my feature film or my project from, you know, uh, releasing. So because there's a very easy medium where people can express their creativity, creativity their talent, uh, what they're all about, who they, all, uh, who they are about. So I guess it makes um, things a tad bit easier. And uh, yeah, I mean, in fact, uh, I'll tell you guys something which I encountered, to be very honest, very recently, say roughly four months back. So I was like, okay, OTD platform, OTD platform, it's such a rage about it. So do people really know what OTD platform stands for? It's it's called over the top, but is it because the entertainment is loud or uh, there is uncensored stuff there? No, it's a very simple thing. Like how we have video on demand, we have satellite, we have cable, we have video streaming through that. This is independent of that. So if I'm going by the terminology, which many people might not know, so this is just a small um, information for them that OTT platform is nothing but a space where you have easy access to streaming of videos or content, uh, which is provided by the, con the, the, the content provider. And it's easily accessible to people over just something called internet. I mean, internet these days, if I go to like even a township, would be so easily accessible, right? I mean, people people would probably be like, yeah, it's it's like, I don't even need a strong Wi-Fi. All I need is a 3G or a 4G or like a hotspot to enable it. So I guess uh, during lockdown, even I have binge watched uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, we've all had creative hobbies and everything, but I got a chance to kind of reconnect with my family. We watch things together and even educate ourselves. It's also infotainment, right? We, you have a lot of infotainment uh, right there. And if I speak for myself, how OTT platform has changed um, like the dynamics for me as an actor. For instance, 2020, I had back-to-back -back releases. I had Charge Sheet on Z5 Premium. I had Bandish Bandits on Amazon Prime and I had Ashram, both the chapters for season one on MX Players. So it has been insane, even though people couldn't enjoy uh, theaters or they couldn't watch me on television or the other mediums which were restricted, you know, because of the obvious reasons known to all of us, the entire world. Uh, even then, something as simple as internet did not stop people from connecting and the OTT platform was just like a comfort zone of entertainment for most of the people. I know people, I know friends and family who basically um, surrendered to uh, the beauty of things that they have learned, uh, you know, over the months uh, through the lockdown and uh, I guess the traction that OTT platforms have uh, garnered is through the roof. We all know about that. Um, let me think about anything uh, further interesting if I can share with you guys, uh, because I think 
um, I don't want to talk about trust as an actor, uh, but uh, a very interesting point comes to my mind. If I were doing feature films, the chances that through editing and everything, the journey of my character finishes within that two and a half hours or two hours. This was a very interesting point brought uh, to my notice by a friend when I was kind of asking uh, through the survey that please give me your feed. And he concluded that, you know, through the, uh, if you are doing probably a season one of a particular series, then you know that your screen time there is massive because there are so many episodes and everything. The chances are that the audience, the, the, the recall value, the recognition value is higher as compared to uh, like watching a feature film because you, you watch a feature film once and then you wait for it to actually come on the television through satellite rights or probably um, on um, you know the OTT platforms now. So even that, like I think feature films, television, OTT platform, let's just say, yeah. They're collinear probably by now. And uh, I feel actually quite good about that, that I'm an actor and I belong to the generation where I have been lucky uh, that I can blend. You know, I can do a feature film and television and also be a part of OTD platform. Um, I heard a couple of speakers speak before me. And uh, of course, uh, a very senior actor spoke before me and he mentioned that how uh, for the females in the industry, you know, it's also become a, a beautiful platform for like, I mean, they're getting amazing opportunity to showcase their talent. He mentioned about Sushmita Sen in Arya. I've watched the series. Definitely. I mean, we've seen Sushmita Sen in uh, movies, but to see her in a total revamped space. So if I talk about the freedom of content, um, that is again provided by OTT platform, I guess. But if I do mention a certain con, which I personally might have faced, is that because censorship has not yet kicked in, the censor board is contemplating whether they should uh, restrict the gore, the violence, the um, content related to nudity or few sexual content that we see. Uh, I think it would be nice to actually control it because I get it because uh, when casting happens for us actors, Nowadays, because something like a kissing scene is, has been made so popular, I guess it becomes a, a little stressful where people might say, because you did a kissing scene here, I think this should be okay. That should be part of your job. But that's quite wrong, I would say, you know. I mean, freedom is given uh, to content. I think people should not exploit that is what I'm trying to say. OTD platform is again a space which can be also very much exploited because I personally have been a victim of that. If I have agreed to do a certain kind of character, um, I've trusted my director and the team and uh, they have tried their level best to be as aesthetic as possible. However, I felt very disturbed by the fact that, you know, many of my clippings have gone here and there in sites which we should not even talk about. But it's my earnest request when this video gets out to the censor board, that people should uh, definitely put a, put a check on that. That this protects the rights of us women, men as well, you know, uh, who are kind of being really open and driven towards their passion, towards acting. And they are saying that, okay, fine, I agree to do a kissing scene, but there has to be somehow, somebody has to curb it and control it. Um, yeah. I mean, I know I, saw, I would sound like a hypocrite here because internet is a space where uh, digital footprints can't be covered. So once it's out, it's out. But however, one can be careful. And I guess with OTD platforms, I have the wonderful opportunity. If you have seen me um, as this girl who's like the protagonist of like a huge thriller or next like a sci-fi or something, I'm just saying, you can also see me in a comedy. Just because I have not tried doesn't mean you can't. That's the beauty of OTT platform again. Uh, you can show how diverse, um, oh, sorry, how versatile you are as an actor. I guess I've spoken for directors, producers. Yes, producers. I was having a chat with uh, one of my producers and I asked him, Ki, aapka revenue model kaise hai? Like, how exactly do you bank on uh, the revenue? Because it's very important. Something like this, you need to literally... Um, I mean, nobody would agree to uh, something like OTT platforms or making a web content unless they're very sure they have a certain revenue, uh, like, you know, like, like the income is breaking even or something like that. 
uh, in this particular case i would say uh, he just politely looked at me and said that it's okay i mean i'm not saying that i i want to wait five times the money that i'm putting in so there are two ways to go forth with it if you want to know uh, a producer can self produce the particular web content the film or the series and then they can sell it to a platform the platform buys it from them and then markets it distributes it and either way it it gets out so the chances that a script or a particular uh, project is going to be uh, showcased to the audience is again it's only because of ott platform because sometimes uh, when it comes to like a film if this were to be a feature film there would be so many constraints there so probably that's why ott platform has an advantage for few filmmakers and actors and uh, the second model uh, would be where uh, the particular platform gives an x amount of money to the production house and tells them to you know take care of the cast crew and everything and they do it keeping their profit aside so either way the producer probably won't be at a loss is what my understanding was i might not be 100% accurate about uh the the numbers so i'm not getting into the depth of it but this is my basic knowledge and understanding i wanted to just share with you all um in a nutshell like i started with ott platform or over the top um streaming uh, like space or on the internet uh is is a space which uh, is just the perfect bridge between technology which currently is like booming right there and we are there we are there we are going we will get further and outreach which is obviously the audience so when you can bridge the two and have like i mean what you really want to do project it's right there i'm really happy that uh, uh, i am a part of the ott platforms i look forward to doing great projects with most of the platforms out there because i think with as time is progressing people should also be very progressive about the kind of technology that's coming in and also be open to it thank you so much i hope i didn't take too much of your time and uh, it was lovely sharing uh, this uh, like moment and of course this thing with you all thank you so much for having me <laughs> take care and binge watch and happy streaming <laughs>